query simulation, custom distribution maps, logic programming. Let's see what's new in Pixel Composer 1.12. Fluid simulation notebooks allow the user to do a fluid simulation in real time. We have a node that adds fluid, adds velocity, adds collider, create a vortex, and create turbulence. Scatter node, particle node, and VFX border node also now accept any image as a distribution map. There's also a new node called scatter point, which will generate an array of 2D points. You can then be used in the scatter node, allowing you to control and position of each individual image. Next, we have a deep control to the VFX particle and rigid body object. Each of them will have two new nodes, the variable get and variable override node, which will allow you to extract the variable of each individual particle and then modify it using, for example, math node, and then override back, which allows you to create a more complex particle effect. We also have a bunch of new nodes related to array modification from array set, find, insert, remove, reverse, and shuffle. We have a new pilot replace node, which is similar to a color replace, but it will apply on the pilot object itself. We have a new curve filter, the new blend path node, which allows you to blend between two parts. We have the logic operation node, which allows you to conduct a logic operation like AND or XOR, for example. The curve data can now be a multi-segment, which allows you to create a more complicated curve, like for example, a scale over time properties in the particle node. You now also have an option to add metadata to your project file or the collection. The save file is also being unified to reduce the file size around 30%. Set unique data type for part object, for particle and rigid body object. You can also create a preset that name underscore default, which will make the value in that preset a default value when you create that node. There's a new improvement in the map node, which allows it to work better with the uh, n-dimension array. The file output node now requires a manual update. There's an improvement on alpha blending on particle node, the VFX node, and the canvas node. The shape node can now accept a part data, which allows you to create a custom shape. And there's other bug fix and improvement. Link to the full list will be in the description. And that's all for this version. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.